hello friend in this video we will discuss what is mean by bearing internal clearance and the different type of bearing clearances and how to measure the bearing internal clearances the standard internal clearance classes also we will discuss and uh, why the bearing internal clearance is important in the bearing that also we will discuss in this video if you are new here please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get the updated videos from mechanical design adda okay so let's start the video so now uh, firstly we will understand what is mean by internal clearance in the bearing there are two types of internal clearances are there one is a radial internal clearance and uh, another is a axial internal clearance okay so here you can see with the rolling element the outer case having some uh, play in the radial direction or you can see with perpendicular to the axis of the bearing so this play is in the radial direction so that's why we call it as a radial internal clearance and if the bearing clearance in the axial direction or the inside portion of the bearing is uh, having the play in the axial direction you can see here the original position and the movement is like this so uh, if the internal portion with the ball and the uh, inner cage so it is somewhat it is like uh, now we can movement like you can see the movement in this direction along the axis of the bearing so this movement or you can say this play is a axial internal clearance okay and uh, you can see here in the table so there are different class uh, we are using uh, for the bearing clearances okay you can see here the c1 c2 uh, cn okay cn referred as a normal clearance okay clearance smaller than the normal clearance is the c2 clearance okay and the c1 clearance is smaller than c2 clearance okay and if you go uh, towards the c3 c4 and c5 so this c3 is uh, greater than the normal clearance okay the value of c3 clearance is greater than the normal clearance okay and the c4 is greater than c3 and c5 uh, is greater than c4 like that here the c1 and c2 these are the very tight clearance okay and uh, uh, we use the tight clearance in the applications like uh, uh, where we have we required the means uh, in the precision equipments we can use the uh, very tight clearance okay so like uh, if you want the alignment is uh, there is no uh, if you want there is no vibrations and the noise so if you don't want that one so at that time we can use the very tight clearance okay uh, in the drilling machine so you have the spindle so at that time you don't need any play okay so at that time you can use the very tight clearance okay and suppose very at uh, the applications where the very high speed is required so at that time also you can use the very tight clearance uh, we need to choose the uh, very appropriate internal clearance okay so not too loose or not too tight okay so because so this bearing internal clearance uh, uh, is uh, related with the bearing performance so in terms of the fatigue life vibration noise and the heat generation okay so if we, if we choose very tight clearance so at that time the vibration and noise will be less but the heat generation friction it will be high and so it will impact on the bearing life and the performance okay so if you choose the two loose clearance so at that time the heat generation and the friction is less but the vibration and noise is more so in that case uh, we need to choose the proper internal clearance so as per the applications okay so here you can see so while choosing the internal clearance we need to uh, uh, keep in mind that the mounting condition and the operating condition of the bearing okay so here in the first case you can see so the internal clearance it is in before the mounting of the bearing on the uh, housing or the shaft okay so this internal clearance is uh, uh, is reduced when we install the bearing on the housing or on the shaft so as we are uh, using here the interference pit on the shaft and the housing so this clearance is reduced because of this fit okay so this clearance will reduce and in the operating condition as we know it is uh, uh, 
so in the operating condition the uh, in the bearing so it generates means uh, heat will generate and because of the heat so you can see the expansion from the inner side and the from the outer cage there is an compression so because of that the uh, further reducing in the uh, clearance value okay so while choosing the internal clearance we need to uh, keep in mind the mounting condition and the operating condition of the bearing okay and to control the axial clearance of the bearing we need to uh, tighten the bearing in the axial direction okay so this is a uh, in the radial direction we are controlling but to control the axial uh, axial uh, clearance so we we use generally the washer or the spacer or the clamping spring i mean uh, we need to apply the load from the uh, this side okay this surface we need to fix the bearing okay so we need to fix the bearing so that there is will not be movement okay so we need in the housing also we can keep the step okay in the housing we can keep the step and here we can use the spacer to lock this bearing okay so here you can see the we use the filler gauge to uh, measure the internal bearing clearance okay so in the filler gauge we have the different different uh, uh, thickness of the strip okay very small thick, uh, thickness of the strips are there so we need to pass the strip into uh, the ball and the case okay so here we can see so which one, whichever is uh, um, is perfectly uh, fitting in the gaps okay so that strip having the uh, thickness so we can directly measure the internal bearing clearance with the help of filler gauge here you can see uh, uh, the uh, 6206 bearing okay escape bearing so this one is uh, the bearing it is started with a 6 6 series so it means that it is a deep groove ball bearing okay and the last two digit you can see 06 so we need to multiply it by 5 so that we so that we can get the internal diameter okay so to uh, here uh, you can see the internal clearance is mentioned as a c3 Uh, C3 class of clearance here we have used for this bearing. Okay, so in industry, in most of the cases, generally C3 cl class clearance uh, is used. So this table you can find out in the uh, bearing catalog. So there are uh, uh, different internal clearance for different type of bearing. Okay, so the bearing clearance uh, is uh, depends upon the type of the bearing we are using. the size of the bearing we are using and the different class of the uh, clearance we are using okay so here we have used uh, means we have the c3 class and we have chosen the deep groove ball bearing and the internal diameter is falls between 30 to 40 mm uh, okay and you can see the c3 class so here we have got the values okay but this all values are in micron okay so 1 micron is 0.001 mm so if you consider so the lower limit and the upper limit of the clearance so now here it is 0.015 mm to 0.033 mm so this one is the clearance between this in the radial direction okay so likewise you can check the internal clearance in the catalog okay so in the bearing catalog so we have the different type of bearings and uh, uh, each bearing having the its own uh, chart of internal clearance in terms of uh, radial internal clearance or in terms of axial internal clearance okay so here you can see the axial internal clearance chart okay so also here you can find out the uh, axial internal clearance or oh, likewise so we need to refer the uh, bearing catalog and we can find out easily the internal clearance okay we uh, in uh, so we need to first we need to uh, go through uh, which type of bearing we are using and the diameter of the bearing okay so in that case we can find out the internal clearance used for that bearing okay so uh, i hope you understood uh, all about the internal clearance uh, in the bearing like uh, axial and the radial internal clearance okay so if you like that video you can like and if you have the any doubt okay you can comment in the comment box okay 
and if you are not it subscribe the channel please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon okay so thank you for watching see you in the next video